Hi there Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your July 2017 reading. I wanted to thank you all for um, subscribing and watching and listening and for letting me become parts of your lives. Um, for all the bookings that I have received, it's quite an honor to... Um, be connected with you so thank you very much this is for Sagittarius July 2017 if this does not resonate with you check your rising sign or your moon sign if you'd like to book a reading please send me an email that's the best way a Facebook makes me I don't like going back and forth to tell you the truth I'd rather have all the questions and comments in my email This is for Sagittarius. July 2017. Moving forward. Sagittarius, July 2017. feeling pretty good at the beginning of the month maybe you finally made some changes enthusiastic optimistic um, clear thinking perhaps you've had a new awakening first week of July looks great it does a lot of clarity clear thinking you've begun a new journey and there's no uh, no depression the first week. Everything looks good. You're feeling proud um, of what you've accomplished so far. You're headed in the right direction. Um, there's, you're enthusiastic, okay? You're feeling good and optimistic this first week of uh, July. Looks like you are com completely... Um, there's no foggy. There's no foggy brain, okay? There's no wonder. There's no worry. There's clear. There's clarity, all right? The beginning of July looks good. You're, you're starting a new journey with faith and trust, okay? And just so you know, when I do these readings, I can't speak. And I'm sure you've already seen that before. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but when I do readings, sometimes the words will not come out. Or they will not. I see them, I heal them, but I can't heal them. See? I'm telling you right now. I heal them. I heal them. <laughs> I hear them, okay? But they don't come out. Um... And I think it's, I don't know, I think it's the energies. They're all coming so quick that I can't speak fast enough. Because um, it happens without the readings, you know. When I'm not doing readings, it rarely happens. But I start doing a reading and I can't speak. So just bear with me. We'll clear that up as we go. All right. You are feeling great at the beginning of the month. And I think it's be perhaps a new person is has come into your life. Or maybe it's not even a new person. Perhaps it's somebody who's been there for a while. They've been into your life. And it's really starting to come together. After a long period of waiting. Okay. It seems like you've been waiting for a while. 
you've dreamt of this, you've had visions of this, and you know, when you dream about things and when you vision things, what that manifests, it does. It's like a subconscious manifestation. It, I mean, the more you think about it, the more it becomes. Your thoughts become things, and your power to manifest at this time is big, okay? Um, you're so, so, so close. You're so close to happily ever after. You really are. And I think you've been waiting for it for a very long time. But I do see um, that before you get there, you, you still have some more things to work on. I see that you are going to have another wake-up call probably by the end of the third, uh, second week of July. Something is going to... You're going to have an epiphany of some sort. Okay? You're going to have an epiphany. And whatever this epiphany is, it does lead... It, in, it um, has to do with love. Okay? This epiphany, this awakening has to do with love. Um, and emotions. Alright? And it has to do with um, probably an air sign. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius it could have to do with the water sign, but I'm leaning towards an air sign, Libra, uh, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, over here we have a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, could be about that person too, or a water sign. So it really could be, I mean, the only signs I don't see here yet are the earth signs. Um... looks like you've had these illusions, you've had these dreams, you've had these fantasies and it's affected your thinking but that's over because you're gonna get some clarity, you're gonna have a wake-up call still again in July okay you're gonna have a wake-up call there's no more illusion it's all truth the illusion is gone okay this the truth is here to talk to say to stay they you know but no more no more pretending okay what you think is what you get, what you wish. I mean, be careful what you wish for because when you say that you want something or you even think that you want something, the universe hears it. So remember to keep your thoughts positive because whatever is going on up there, the universe hears it, okay? Um, you need to be in control of your thoughts, okay? Be in control of your thoughts. I think this person over here that, you know, by the third week, you know, there could be some kind of, uh, I love yous <laughs> or coming togethers. You know what I mean? There could be by the third week of July. And you, and it, oh, it feels so good. It feels really good. Don't resist it. Okay, don't resist it. You're so close. You are so, 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 so close. The next card after this one is the world card it means that you have you've hit a major you've completed a chapter in your life a complete you've completed a project that could be schooling could be relationship could be a time of being alone it could be a job it could be it's a major life period when the world card comes up this is the card right before it okay you are so close to that next journey you are so close in fact it's right here it's right here, that new journey. And this right here is so, so, so close to happily ever after in love. So, so close. That's why I keep saying you're so close. You're so close to your dreams being fulfilled. Okay? You are. But you're going to have a wake-up call. You're definitely going to have an awakening. There's no doubt about it. With... with there's your awakening is coming okay first to second and 
first to the end of the second week. You're going to have some kind of epiphany. I don't know what it is. You're going to have an epiphany that brings you some kind of clarity that you have been looking for. Some kind of conclusion, some kind of answer. You're going to get an answer that you have been seeking. Okay? Clear answer. There's not going to be any wonder. The answer is going to come out and you're going to see it. And it's regarding love. Like I said earlier, the, the, the awakening, the answer that you seek is regarding love. Well, that's pretty beautiful, huh? It truly is a dream come true. I see a lot of dreams here. A lot of dreams. Imagination. Wishes. You know? You want love, you want security, you want the whole package, just like everybody else does. But you've been lacking it for a while now. Hasn't been around, so it's like, ugh. It's coming quick. Just rest assured, it's coming, and it's coming quick. And there's going to be a lot of passion and a lot of love, real love. I mean, a lot of uh, caring, you know, emotional, touchy-feely, lovey-dovey love. There's that cycle. Another completion. A major life experience. Okay, that's what this is. The wheel starts to spin. And your dreams start to come true, perhaps. It involves love, security, abundance, and dreams. And the wheel spins. Finally, this is the fourth week. The wheels. The third week, perhaps this person has tiptoed in or something. I don't know why I said tiptoed, but maybe they've tiptoed in by the fourth week, you know, and you've, you're like, oh my God, this is, this is truly a dream. Um, by the fourth week, when you're so close to this happily ever after by the end of the third week by the fourth week you're even that much closer because this is a 10 that's a nine this is a 10 you're that much closer the wheel is truly spinning in your favor truly it's a life experience okay a major life experience it's a cycle it's one cycle that has ended and another one is about to begin probably with this person because that's connected to it Look at this beautiful lineup right here, okay? Proud, happy, recognized, feeling great, all right? Probably with a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And it's a, it's, a, it's a serious, like, soul connection. It is, all right? That leads to a new life experience, a new major life experience, okay? Something you've been dreaming about. It's been like an illusion that, you know, now you're finally, it's finally coming. It's finally coming. Look at that. Yeah. You're still worried, though. You are still worried. The fourth week, you know, the wheel's starting to spin, but you're still worried. You're still holding back about something. You're still feeling like you just don't know. Perhaps you're anxious. You're scared. The fourth week, this is like, this is too good to be true. This is too good to be true. This is, you know, it's happened so fast. This can't be right. You know, you're doubting, you're, you're doubting this, okay? But there's no need to doubt because this is, an, this is another one, okay? This is um, mind, body, and spirit. You have all the resources that you need. You do. Within yourself, you have the knowledge, you have the skills, you have the heart, you know, you have everything that you need to start this new journey. Look at it. 
That's a beautiful lineup right there, too. Look at that lineup right there. They're mostly all majors. This is divinely guided. It is part of your spiritual path. Okay? You are on a major spiritual journey right now, and you are following your path as exactly as planned. And I don't know where that's coming from, but it's coming from somewhere. All right? This is working together as a team. Teamwork. Okay, so that's great. This is at the end of the July end of July 2017. This new truth, this new revelation, okay? This this new uh revelation regarding love, you know, this new awakening, this new oh my god moment. This is too good to be true. This new, uh, wow, new journey that you're on, you know, is going to be working as a team with somebody. You're not going to be on it alone. So this is supposed to be a general reading, but for Sagittarius, it appears to be um, a love reading of some sort. That's what I think. I think it's kind of like, like a love reading. You take it as you want. It, it will resonate with who it is supposed to resonate with. If it doesn't resonate with you, then perhaps I'm not your um, reader or or you're not meant to see this video, or who knows what the reason is. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's the way it goes. Um, but I think it's going to resonate with a lot of you. You're following your own spiritual journey in a very, very big way. And changes are coming very quickly. And I see some love on the horizon, and I see you starting a new chapter. A new chapter, and I don't see you ch starting that new chapter alone. I do not. I think that you're feeling very, very good about yourself right now. Confident, enthusiastic, optimistic. You're getting the clarity. You're getting the answers. You're... Things are clearing up. Your, your brain isn't all a big fog anymore. It's cleared right up. And that causes you to, to wake up and to see things as they really are. You know? Now, I don't know what this means. Maybe you have to leave somebody behind to get to this. Maybe you have to leave somebody behind to get to this. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe there's, there's three people involved in the situation. Okay. Now that this card came out. I don't know what that means, do you? I can't make it out to be something I don't know what it means. Perhaps, the only thing that it could mean is that you recently went through a separation, okay? Or that you're going to go through a separation that you're happy about. I don't see this as being... Uh, a difficult separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I, if that is the case, then it's not anything that... I don't think it's going to affect you in a bad way. I don't. If you have to let somebody else go so that this true love can come in, well, that's so be it. I mean, sorry if I don't have any sympathy, but I'm about following my own path and my dreams, okay? That's what I'm about, so... But you do what's best for you. 
I see that you are starting a new journey. You are spinning the wheel and it is spinning in a positive direction. And I see that you are bringing somebody with you on that new journey. I think you're going to have to leave something behind. I'm not sure what it is. Worry and doubt. Is it? Because this separation is something that you're connected to. Are you connected to this worry and self-doubt? That's what The minute I just started to shuffle, that's what came out. That's what jumped out at me. You're going to have to let that go. No more self-doubt. No more doubting yourself. No more illusion. I mean, those are your partners. They are. Clarity. <laughs> That's all that I can think it to mean. These people have been your partners forever. The people inside of you. The beings, you know. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to let it go. I think you're gonna let it go. There's no problem. Like I said, I don't see no messy separation. I see as you just moving right on. So that's why I don't I don't see it. I don't see it as any messy separation. I see it as a moving on from your own partner within. Your partner in crime. The little devil on your shoulder. See ya. Or maybe you keep the devil and you just get rid of the negative parts of the devil. I don't know. It's up to you. But it's about you letting go of something. That has been with you for years. This guy is very passionate, and that's why this card came out. Guy or girl? Girl. See, I can't talk. I told you that. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And that is the damn truth, because somebody is coming. Or they're already here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And this may not resonate with everyone. This is meant to resonate with who it resonates with. And if somebody doesn't come, it's because you're not letting it in. It's because you haven't separated from something. You know, this is, it's the way it is. You have to, you have to follow the steps. I mean, not the steps that I tell you. You need to follow your steps. This may not resonate with all of you. But it's going to resonate with a lot. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy because the passion is going to be so strong. It is. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> it's true. Like I just said, the passion is going to be so strong because of this. It is. It's going to be like an aha moment. Too good to be true. Which would cause some worry. <laughs> this doesn't mean a literal honeymoon. This means going somewhere together and feeling like you're on a honeymoon. Togetherness. Togetherness. Starting a new journey together. We're going to take one more for Sagittarius. July 2017. This is for Sagittarius. Okay. Perhaps it's not your usual. Okay.
keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. You know, there's going to be there's going to be new experiences. All right? Experiences that you have never experienced before. Remember to keep an open mind and be optimistic, okay? About what the other person wants. Okay? Keep an open mind. Which I think you're going to because I see a lot of clear clear thinking here. All right? Looks absolutely beautiful. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius, for the month of July. It looks really good. It looks like somebody's going to come in by the end of the month. You're, you could be working as a team together, you know, to accomplish something. Looks like you might be starting a new journey. I think you are going to be starting a new journey. I don't think that's a might. All right. Let's get a couple more advice cards. Let's get three more advice cards for Sagittarius. What advice do you have for Sagittarius for July 2017? Advice. Advice. What advice do you have? Beautiful. I like it a lot. Ten of Pentacles. A very happy family life. Financial security. Finding magic in the little things in life. That's true. It's true. And this is optimistic, enthusiastic, feeling so good. I think that you just need to separate something. Something that is holding you back. Just cut the cord. Gone. That's what that's about. Get rid of it. Whatever's holding you back. Let it go. You know what it is. Could be anything. All right. Um, because it's time to it's time to start something new. Tens are completions. It's time to start something new, and this is going to be going on throughout the whole month. You're going to be moving one step forward every single day towards your new journey. And it's positive. I don't see any negative in this whatsoever. The month of July is moving forward in a positive way. The whole month. All right. Review and evaluate. Re <laughs> renewal. Review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Absolutely. This has been going on for a while, hasn't it, Sagittarius? It has. You had the wake-up call, and you are moving in a new direction. Congratulations. You are. You're moving in a new direction. Financially, financially and in love. Okay? Everything is looking great. It looks great at your job. It looks great in your love life. And if you don't have anybody in your love life now... And so it looks to me like somebody is interested. It looks like somebody is coming in. And if they don't come in, it's because you're holding, you are blocking it. If somebody doesn't come in, it's, it's because you're not letting them. Three of Wands. Abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans right here, working as a team. <laughs> That's perfect. And this is a three as well. It is. It's about working together. Long-term plans, long-term goals. 
you know that's great things are looking very 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 good for you there really isn't any advice here because you're you know what to do you're on your own path and you're doing it you're following your own path day by day you're taking it one day at a time and you're, the best thing that has happened for you, Sagittarius, is your way of thinking has changed. Whereas you went from a foggy, cloudy um, brain, you just didn't know what to do. You were confused and depressed and blah, blah, blah. And then now it's like, I am clear. I feel good. It's like a complete switch from off to on. That's what happened. I'm ready. I'm ready. And when you say you're ready, the universe hears it. When you prove that you're ready, the universe hears it. And that's when things begin to change. And the clear clarity in the clear mind here is big. There's more wake-up calls to come, just saying. This month, that you're going to have more epiphanies, okay? More, you're, it's not over. You've got a long way, so the rest of this year, okay? By the end of this year, you're going to be on cloud nine. And I don't know where that came from, but it did. So, anyway, that's what I have for you. I appreciate you watching. Um... And I will talk to you again soon.